Okay, this is part three of Bible history, uh, so I'll just jump right into it. Um, catch part one and two to get caught up. Um, hopefully, I can close it out in this segment. So, um, if you do research on a figure called Imhotep, and he was a, a, a prominent figure in. Um, in Egypt uh, and if you look at what this person did you'll see that what he did lines up perfectly with what Joseph did per the Bible so again filtering the history now the time period that that Imhotep is said to have lived uh, it's most likely false so which you know leads to that whole uh, series of pharaoh of pharaohs you know as i mentioned in video number two about the hyksos you know uh there the, there's a lot of question marks there on whether that timeline is accurate so uh, i would question that um another thing to look at is um uh, which is in genesis the uh the birth of Jacob and Esau and Jacob of course being the father of the Israelites and then Esau being the father of the Edomites and Edomites play a, a big role in uh, what goes on in the Bible um, so uh, if you trace the Edomite line you know it kind of splits but uh, it's tied into you know several things in history and you can just look at um, Wikipedia online and you can confirm that you know the that the Edomites or Edom was basically in control of the early Roman Empire I say early because there's an early Roman Empire and a late Roman Empire uh, so you can confirm that um, with that, uh, Herod, who tried to kill um, uh, baby Jesus, or his real name is Jehoashai, uh, he was of uh, the nation of Edom, um, and, as well as the Herod, who was later, uh, he, there's, I guess, the Herod line, but the Herod that later, you know, was involved with the crucifixion again of the nation of, of Edom. Um, there's uh, in, in Esther, uh, so the nation of Edom was involved even during the uh, Persian Empire. Uh, they're, uh, they're the Macedonians that are mentioned uh, as trying to uh, destroy the nation of uh, Israel. Uh, so then, uh, as I mentioned, the Macedonians, if you read through the Apocrypha, you can trace down again through the fathers. And you can see that Alexander was a descendant of the mass of, of, of Edom. And uh, which leads to, you know, uh, the initial Greeks, not, not initial Greeks, because again, they're Macedonians and they conquered Greek. And then, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, when people start moving into the land, they start calling themselves that. So really... Uh, Alexander was a Macedonian, uh, started calling themselves Greeks, uh, but the controllers of the Greeks were uh, descendants of the nation of Edom. Uh, then they eventually evolved into the Romans, and there's a lot of history up in there. But um, so you could you know read that history and get you know much better understanding. So uh, the original Greeks were. Uh, the, the Japhet from Ham's son Japhet and they were the Triskins and the um, let's see they had another name they went under um, I, I, I can't remember but um, even when you look at the Trojan War which I've been doing some research on recently um, the um, the Trojan War would have been uh, the sons of Japhet 
are the Mycenaeans uh, that that particular group were called warring against the people that lived in uh, Turkey at that time. Now, uh, the people in Turkey at that time was um, the um, primarily the Hittites. And the Hittites are descendants of Ham, who were basically African. I mean, they, they stretched just that far. And for a period of time, the ancient Egyptians' kingdom stretched all the way up there because the Hittites and the Egyptians had wars, and they were warring over that land that far north. So it's unclear whether the Hittites were the people that occupied the city of Troy. I've seen maps going both ways. Uh, but one thing, if you, and, and I'm not trying to say that Greek mythology is is history, but it's based on history, and that's been confirmed time and time again. It's based on real people and things that actually happen. So, um, if you look at you know part of the Odyssey, it talks about um, the let's see, the gentleman was the nephew of um uh let's see the king over troy um the father of paris and hector i can't <laughs> i can't think of his name right now uh but basically the father of paris and hector uh if you do research you can i didn't take any notes i'm kind of just uh doing this off the top of my head but uh his nephew um